All right, people. So this is not a how-to, but it's how miserable uh, replacing the clutch master cylinder or the clutch pedal is. So let me show you where the connection is for the master cylinder and where you have to get all the way down to. So the master cylinder comes through right under there and it's two little black hoses I guess you could call them on the other side of uh, well, all the ABS stuff so that's pretty deep in there as you can see again and we're talking about this line this one here, where that goes up to. So up under there, there's one there and there's one right above it, this guy. Um, so goes to the reservoir, down the master cylinder is just on the other side of that. Now, to get there, you have to obviously take out the battery, the battery box. You gotta take out this, whatever the hell this is called, with the hose on it and all that shit. And the, scuttled shenanigans and all that stuff um, just to get it under there uh, so with all that pulled apart obviously the air box is gone so air box has well it's got these little these guys the little grommets um, and then uh, the tubes that come here that kind of goes with the air box and then uh, the rubber hose that gets you up to the airline that goes across. Um, so that's what you have to do from the engine compartment. Now, the most fun, I would say, and by fun I mean nightmare, is getting to these, not so much the screws. If you have a long enough extension, I had to use this extension all that and here's my wrench for scale and there's my foot for scale so we're talking oh, two feet of extension to get to four bolts as they're not bolts they're nuts all the way back I'm looking all the way to the back wall I'm going to try and zoom in oh come on that one there, all the way to the back. If I can get it to focus. There we go. That's all the way in the back. Um, there's another one. I don't even know how I'm going to show you these because when I was getting them out, I was only looking with one eye. That's how I can find all these spaces. Um, but basically, you can figure out those four. There's the easy one. That one. That one's a gimme. Um, and there's one above there. That one I had to do from the dash as well. Focus, there we go. And then, uh, there, yeah, the highest one um, is pretty much horizontal from here straight back. Um, I can't exactly show you that one. Because like I said, I can only see it with one eye. But here's what I replaced. So it's the pedal and the master cylinder, all that good stuff. The, the funnest ones is, uh, of course, this top guy, which is way up there. Um, now, the other part that really sucks is there's a clip that goes into here. Actually, I can grab the clip. Uh, this clip was such a nightmare. Where did I put it? Oh, hell. Oh, where did I put it? There it is. So the clip, if you try to install it beforehand, and it's fairly simple, you have these two little guys, and then it kind of hooks in with that top part. So you'll... Oh, this is fun with one hand. You'll set it in there, and then 
pull it up and it clicks right in. You're like, oh, okay, well, I'll just put this on and then you can get to the, the plug and plug it in once you're up there. No, you can't do that because there's a, a other metal piece that sticks out. I think it's right here. So there, sorry. There's another metal piece underneath the dash that you can't unbolt. It's all, I don't know, the bolts are God knows where or welded, I don't know. But there's a piece that goes right here and so you can't get this in and finagle it into the space with this being on there. So you have to get this connected in situ or while it's installed with at least one bolt on. I tried from three different angles ten times each and I'm just getting in and out of the car, in and out of the car. Reaching through the dash, trying to get through the dash. Now maybe, maybe if you can get your bottom dash pulled all the way out and I tried. I was laying down there and I did a pull up on this back edge and it didn't pop off. So I mean I'm to here and this is an airbag under here. All I know is don't pull on this guy because that's a rip basically a rip cord and the airbags under there and there are plastic tabs that are designed to break uh, for the airbag. And so I uh, I made a boo-boo and now I gotta just put a little bit of double sided tape in there hold it close um, but if you can pull this whole thing off it might be easier because that switch like I said is about here in uh, elevation and you, you you can't get to it and it's on the inside of this uh, loop sort of and so right now the clutch pedal is uh, released not depressed and so you have more room if it's depressed, but you have this tab that comes up and squeezes this so you can't actually get it in. So, nightmare. So I decided to just jumper the uh, the wires. I, after two, literally two and a half hours of nonstop trying, there's a plug with no wires. Um, but we, and that bad boy goes into there. Now, the only good news is that when you're taking this out and you're disassembling it, um, this, for me, just, just popped off somehow like that. Um, so I got lucky. I was like, oh, hey, there's that switch. And then I was like, oh, shit, how does it go back on? That's how it goes on. Uh, here's the switch. You don't have enough cable to get it in. You can't get to it. It's just a nightmare. So I, I fucking clipped them and uh, put some tape on them, I, you know wound them up and put some tape on it. So that's what I ended up doing. So if you're thinking about replacing your own clutch, this is by far the most difficult project I've ever done on a vehicle. Uh, it's been two, almost three days now, and I'm fed up. So I have finally this installed, um, and I gotta add some fluid and uh, start bleeding it once my wife gets home. She's my, she's my pumper for the pedal, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna change the brake pads, but, uh, holy shit on the amount of stuff you have to remove, I'm um, trying to go in through there, you know what's behind this flash guard? Just a big piece of metal, you can't get in through there, and at first I was really just looking for, um, these two lines under here, couldn't find them, couldn't find them, and they're hidden under there, so I had to remove that, I sprayed some WD-40 to kind of get some dust off, um, so now I gotta fill this bad boy up and try and bleed this. Uh, the bleeder, I believe, is this guy. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I have a whole liter of brake fluid, but uh, it's it's a big job. Um, depending on that, if you've taken out the air box, that's probably well by far the easiest part. And then the battery box is not that much fun. Um, and then there's a little screw that comes in here that goes into the battery box. Um, all of that is completely simple. Difficulty number one out of ten compared to getting that clip and uh, that sensor all arranged inside. Anyway, so it's just an idea of what you're going to have to do if you're replacing your master cylinder or clutch pedal uh, assembly, all that shenanigans. It's a, it's a nightmare. Anyway, alright, bye.